Hey everybody, it's the OMAD Dad. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, a channel that's dedicated to living the OMAD lifestyle or eating just one meal a day. I was cleaning my attic space out the other day and I came across a bunch of old uh, articles and uh, blog posts and things like that that I had printed out and saved um, from someone who I uh, considered to be a mentor in my life. Uh, I believe I spoke of him uh, briefly on this channel in one of my videos. He had passed away of cancer a while back um, and um, he wrote this article for that I wanted to share today some of the main points of it and it was uh, seven reasons why your life sucks and I think um, you know saying your life sucks is a bit harsh I mean I, I hope your life doesn't suck I know mine doesn't suck but the points that he brings up in this article are, are, are really there's a lot of good parallels between that the psychology of long-term successful weight management and health management uh, and OMAD so I thought I would share that with you guys today so um, number one the number one reason why your life sucks um, you pretend that you don't have control over your life we pretend we tell ourselves we don't have control over our lives and we are pretending um, it, it, again successful weight loss long term success on OMAD or anything really it's a psychological game and you need to use your mind and train it and shape it in a way that will make that that will facilitate that what usually happens and because things go so quickly we sometimes don't often see but usually there is an outside event that happens and we feel that that directly controls our behavior our emotions how we feel, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And what actually, there's a hidden step and a hidden part in there. What, what actually happens is, is there's that outside event. Um, we make an internal representation about that within our mind, and that is what creates our experience of life. So if you can stop and go through and sort of put some awareness towards how you're making your internal representations that will completely and dramatically change the way you experience life remember you are in control the food I've said before the food is not your master uh, you are the master and you are the controller of your mind and of your life and when you can take the reins of your mind and use it as this conscious tool and use it uh, for your benefit then you will be amazed at how uh, how amazing you will feel uh, how uh, effective you will be in the world how successful you will be yes there are some things that you don't have control over I don't have control over the earth's rotation the Sun the weather the 8 billion other people on this planet with their own agendas um, and but I have control over how I feel how I behave what and whom I attract or become attracted to and what things in my life what the, 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 the things of my life mean and those four things pretty much make up most of your experience in life so remember you do have control you have to stop pretending that you don't uh, the number two reason your life sucks you chronically and unconsciously focus on what you don't want I hear this a lot from people who are new into OMAD and they're getting started and it's some people will will email me and they'll ask oh well are you always hungry or uh, you know uh, do I have to go keto I'm afraid that I'm going to have to give up my favorite foods um, you know what do I do like what 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 do I do when I get these hunger pains how long is it going to take me to adapt automatically right there you're focusing on what you don't want and that is the failure the you know the, the un, being uncomfortable you need to focus on the success you need to focus on winning you, you, you know achieving even short-term goals to get you yourself to the long-term goal people will sometimes ask me too like oh well how long did it take you to lose weight it's totally irrelevant how long it took me or you or that guy over there to lose weight because you're going to have your own experience and so it may take you longer you may fly right through it and, and it may take you half the amount of time that it took me or somebody else so again people you, you you see this a lot, people focusing on what they don't want, the discomfort, the putting in the effort, and, and not getting the results as fast as they, they think they should. And that can make for a, a, just a, a horrible way to live. Um, 
and one thing you'll notice too, I'll say this, is when you focus on what you don't want, you're gonna, you're gonna know it because you're gonna feel like crap. Focus on what you want. Keep the main thing the main thing. Uh, keep your goal in mind and just make attack it every single day. Make, you know, make the day work for you. The number three reason your life sucks, you believe what your parents told you about who you have to be in order to be okay. Now, I think you could see the, the parallels of this with uh, psychology and basic human psychology, but when it comes to OMAD, think of how many people grew up in households where it was a sin to throw away food. And I, I had that problem to a certain degree, too, as I grew up in a, a household um, where my parents, my, my grandparents, uh, they were generally pretty frugal people. And, uh, you know, if you bought something, you better get, you know, a long use out of it. You better not throw it away for, with, for you know, a stupid reason. And food was, you know, a very big part of that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We, we didn't um, starve growing up. We had plenty of food to eat. Uh, but you also didn't just waste it and buy a bunch of food, stockpile it, and then go, oh, yeah, I didn't get around to it. Let's just throw it out. You know, I, I'm, I'm telling you now, though, that it's a different environment. It's okay sometimes to throw away food. Uh, it's okay to spend a little bit more money on smaller amounts of food, like the smaller convenience packs, so that you could eat them, you could eat it your, as part of your OMAD, you could uh, incorporate it in your meal, use it, and then you don't have that threat, uh, that constant... Um, reminder that oh geez there's still a half a bag of chips in there there's still a half a bag of popcorn there's still what whatever your trigger happens to be um you know it's not a sin to throw away food it's okay um now if you're um you're trying to be cost conscious like i as i still am then there i'm going to do videos on uh, how to you know kind of maximize your money when it comes to uh doing omad and, and whatnot still but um uh, you know if that was a, a big thing for you uh, in order to be okay, uh, I'm, I'm telling you, you've got to let it go. Or, you know, maybe it's an unconscious thing that your parents uh, your, or your family uh, ingrained into you that, uh, you know, that when you celebrate a holiday, the, the ho they're supposed to be food central. Uh, I see that a lot now, and I'm just stepping back, and like once you take the eating out of it, and it's like, okay, now we can just sit and actually talk and, you know, enjoy each other's company, which is the way it should be. Uh, the number four reason your life sucks, you aren't willing to examine your beliefs about yourself. This is, who, this is huge. I mean, if you believe that you're a failure, if you believe that you uh, can't be loved, if you believe that you can't make money, you're going to find a way to make these beliefs become true. They will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. And you will sabotage your life. You will not become successful at anything if you don't examine your own beliefs. And <clears throat> so when it becomes an, a self-fulfilling prophecy, you get to be right about what the, you believe. But wouldn't you rather be happy? That's what you have. That's what you have to understand. You have to go in your own mind, examine, find out what you really believe about yourself, about the world, and life in general. But, but most specifically about yourself, and find out is it a resourceful belief to have or not. And if it's not, then you absolutely need to get rid of that belief. If I believe that uh, I'm not going to be successful in anything, I will sabotage my efforts in an instant. You need to go in and examine your own mind and find out, figure out how you do things and processes in your mind. It's not that difficult. It takes a, a little bit of time. You could sit down with a pad and paper and start asking yourself some simple questions. Um, and I have a video on beliefs on this channel. And uh, I think that could be helpful to you. But um, if, if you're not willing to examine your own beliefs and, and replace the, the unresourceful ones with resourceful ones, then you're going to, your life is going to suck because you're going to sabotage yourself in anything that you do. The number five reason your life sucks, fearing failure, you don't act. Uh, this is, uh, again, touching upon um, what I just uh, spoke um, previously here um, with with people that write me or people that, that post in different social media internet um, I'm sorry OMAD um, fasting groups and whatnot uh, people are afraid uh, and it's understandable that they're going to do it this time and this isn't also not going to work or that they're going to be in some discomfort or they're they're going to receive peer pressure if 
uh, you're afraid of being a failure at it, again, that directly ties into beliefs. So you're believing that you're not going to be successful at it. You're going to make it come true. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And you get to be right about your beliefs. But you would rather be happy. So, you know, the most... And I'll say this too. In, in reading about and studying some of the most successful people in the world, people think that, you know, that people that generally that aren't that successful in life see the most successful people in the world as if everything just always goes right for them. And I can tell you, it doesn't. They hit a lot of bumps along the way. They have a lot of hardships. Uh, it's never a straight road to success for anybody. The thing with a successful person, though, is that they will get knocked down and keep getting back up and keep going and going until... But every time they get knocked down, they get up again and they're like, okay, that approach didn't work, so how could I... What do I learn from that? Whereas an, un an unsuccessful person will go, oh, see, I knew it, couldn't do it. I'm a failure, that's it, I, I quit. And then once you quit, now you're, ne you're definitely not going to achieve any goal. So you can't be afraid of failure. It's okay if you're on your path and something doesn't quite go right. That's okay. You've learned something. But move on from it. And get yourself up and keep going. And the number six reason your life sucks, you're waiting for everything in your life to be perfect before you can be happy. Uh, again, you see, I think you can see the parallels here with, uh, you know, basic human psychology. But, like, when it comes to, say, OMAD, <clears throat> I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, it's it's October, I'm not going to go do OMAD right now because uh, the holidays will be here before you know it, and then, uh, you know, so I'm going to wait for a couple of months, and then, uh, oh, well, mid-January is my birthday, so that's not going to work out. <clears throat> um, everything in your life is never, it's not, it, there's never going to be a perfect time, there's always something that's going to happen. I, I you know, there are some, you know, some periods of time where things kind of quiet down a little bit, but there's always something going on. There's always going to be triggers. I have it even now in my life. There's always some party going on. There's always some meeting at work uh, where you go into and then somebody brought dessert or somebody brought cake or whatever it happens to be or, uh, you know, something is catered. There's stresses in life. I mean, I've recently, uh, between my wife and I, we have lost four family members in the past four months. We've had... Um, my wife's grandmother, grandfather, and uncle has passed away, and my grandfather has passed away. Uh, and it's been very hard, and it's been very stressful. Um, but, again, life isn't always going to be perfect, so you have to learn how to deal with those stresses. And falling back, you know, using food as a crutch through them is the wrong kind of crutch. It's the wrong thing to do. Everything in life isn't going to be perfect. You're going to have to take action, and you're going you're going to have to learn how to operate in an imperfect world. And when you do that, uh, you are pretty much unstoppable. Nothing can wear you down, break you down. Nothing can, can hinder you at all. Uh, so you have to understand that life isn't always perfect. Life is, is going to be hard sometimes, and you have to be able to push through it. <clears throat> and that is it for this for this article for today. I hope that you got something out of this. I, I hope it was um, enlightening to you. Uh, th again, I, I really miss, uh, I used to get um, regular um, emails and things like this from this gentleman that wrote the article. And uh, a lot of people, including myself, miss, miss that. Uh, but the, what I'm trying to, the, the point I'm trying to make is that, you know, in, in part, other than, you know, just you know, learning the basics of what OMAD is or what any, food weight loss program is that you happen to be on um, other than learning the basics of the, the individual program as to what you can eat what you can drink uh, you know other than learning about how OMAD works and what you're eating what eating windows and, and things you're going to choose uh, the rest becomes very much a psychological game particularly in a, when we are in a food saturated environment it's hard it's it's it is hard to, to say no every day to all of that temptation that is around you. But I'm telling you, you can do it. And it starts with your mind. You make it up in your mind, you come up with a good plan, 
and you apply some of the points that I've gone over today and, and on this channel and I'm telling you you're going to be unstoppable and there's nothing that is going to shake you in this world well that is it for me for today I hope uh, this was helpful for you and I hope you guys uh, continue watching the channel um, subscribe if you uh, feel that um, you, you think it's worthwhile to subscribe uh, and I'll see you on the next video I hope you guys have a great day a very happy week and even better OMAD and be well